All right, what is up everyone? Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise as you guys can see out here. Woo! Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Uh, I got a couple packages that I got to send today in my hands right here. Four. These are all printed with the eBay labels, which is so nice. And then we got this one guy back here that it's not printed with the eBay label because I don't know if I actually put the right size and stuff. I don't want to get it and sent back because this is a, a big purchase. It was that Monster Energy thing sold for 100 and they paid 50 something dollars for shipping. Um, so the eBay game is on, on point right now. It's getting good and we don't really have that many items up, like 100 right now. And then Sammy's inside right now posting on Macari. She said, let's just keep posting and see what happens. Just keep throwing stuff into the online universe. So, what's the claim in here? I am posting these bathing suits. They're all, this one's medium. The rest of them are small. I just don't fit in them. I literally. This is nice for you. Yeah, this is Aldo, that's Juicy Couture, that's Betsy Johnson, and these are all like Exhilaration, which I think is a Target brand. But I never really wore any of them. Are you putting a fatty description on this claim? I have to. Dreamers. Yeah, have to. Dreamers. So that's what we got going on right now. It's kind of late in the day, but I just edited the FDR video and it took me, I don't know, the good part of probably more than an hour, and I already had some of it edited, so. That's what it is. Hour, two hours, two, three hours a day on the YouTube thing. So that's exporting right now. And then I wanted to show you guys again the shed operation that we got going. And also, I know a lot of people think that our mold situation is getting really crazy with the rain, but it's actually not that bad. I sprayed it under the house and I have a mold specialist coming here tomorrow who's actually the friend of the mop god and he's going to literally do like a whole remediation claim under there and see what's going on and then we're going to pay him to get rid of it if anything's too crazy so we're getting it taken care of um but there hasn't been water under our house at all it was literally a broken pipe down the street like the drainage pipes that drain the water out to the bay or to the ocean were collapsed so it was like making the water level higher so literally even with all that rain and all that flooding we didn't get any water under the house which is a great thing and I remember staring at the ceiling trying to deal with emotions and no one feelings all I wanted was a picture on my wall All right, this is gonna be one of the coolest aspects of this shed. It's gonna be two doors right on the front here as the front wall. So I'm loving this idea. I'm loving this part. We just got, so we just got a package from Joe back one of our followers, one of our friends, and she sent us clothes and stuff before, but this is unreal, this bag, because I opened it before we started filming, but no way. You can't. The original Nintendo Game Boy, the big one. That's so wild. And it has Donkey Kong. Way. I wonder if the batteries are on this thing. Dude, it's going. No way. I no, it's it. not going because okay. the batteries are too dead. Wait, is it going? No, it's just cut out because the batteries are dead, but I'm about to change these out in a minute. And just start <laughs> playing this thing for real. What's this though? The game pack? Dude. Heavy, dude. <laughs> no this way. This is cool. Mortal Kombat, James Bond, Wario Land. Dude. I had that before. 
when I was younger. Mickey's Dangerous Chase. Dude, no way. This is a retro dream gift. Dun, dun, dun. This is the Sammy J gift. Obviously. <gasps> oh my Crystal god. Crystal Kiki. Glass Kiki with a fish in it. So cool. That's actually so epic. I want to put so it in the heavy. window, but I literally can't because... The babies are so These big. little snitches will knock it over. Look, she's already sniffing around trying to get in some trouble. Yeah. So, I'm going to put up here with Nono and all the rest of his friends. She's getting a little crazy over here. All right, we are still working on this shed. This is taking up a lot of time today. Um, it doesn't seem like it would take up that much time, but each little thing is like a 10, 20, 30 minute thing. So like, it just adds up. And this is what it's looking like now. Pretty much got the roof and both walls on here. This is gonna be the front of it. Doors like that, probably just up to here and then I'm gonna make hopefully a little ramp so I can put the mowers and stuff up and down. But I just wanted to say like, this is my life, like I'm just fully going for it. Like YouTube, reselling, scrap life, making videos. You know, making stuff that I find to be important, making stuff that has impact, making Instagram videos, taking photos, making t-shirts. I just, I'm ordering t-shirts. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise of how cool they're gonna be. I think they're cool. Okay, that's an opinion. But I'm not saying, oh, these are the greatest shirts ever. Either way, moving on. I'm fully going for it. I think if you believe in something hard enough, if you believe in something and you believe in yourself, and you believe in what you're doing, that it's gonna work out for you. I think that a lot of people have great ideas, amazing million dollar ideas, probably better than any ideas I've ever had, and they don't act on them because they're too afraid it won't work or they're too afraid of someone else's opinion of their idea or of them is gonna impact them so much that they don't even try. But the only way that you can truly fail is if you don't try at all. That's how I see it. Failing is part of the process. And I'm just saying like, I'm building this shed strictly just to store more junk because I believe in what I'm doing so much. That sounds so insane that I'm just building another shed just to hoard stuff. But for me, that's my full on life. Like just sold something on eBay for $120 that I found in the trash, which I think is a lot of money. So like this is totally working out for me, I believe. And I'm just going to keep going and keep building. So like, also was thinking I wanted to get into like more documentary style little videos. So if anyone has an interesting character or if you find your life to be interesting enough and you're close enough to us, um, you know, let us know. Or if there's any cool stuff around, you know, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, that's worth taking a trip to go film or go see, you know, let us know in the comments. I'm always up to suggestions, always up for ideas. Um, so, you know, your guys' input is important, obviously, but... This is what we got going. I'm going to try and fill in that last little piece in the back there where the light's coming in. And then just keep pushing. It's crazy, but we're going shingles now. Full shingles. Got a whole stack that we got for free. Um, right here. So it should be twice or three times as many as we actually need. So we're going for it. just want to make a claim right now this game shark game boy thing just sold for $120 on eBay I found it in the trash and the cord wasn't even posted with it but it go I found out it goes to it so it was in the bag too and it was in the garage I'm gonna send that with it obviously cuz why wouldn't I but this is the little dreamer I had it up on an auction for forty-four dollars originally, and it got up to one 
hundred and something, a hundred and two or a hundred and three dollars. And then the person said that won the auction, I just found mine, I moved and I lost it, I just found it. And can you please cancel the item? Which I thought was kind of weird after you bid on it for days and days. But I canceled it, reposted it this morning for 120, buy it now, and 80 dollars in the auction and someone just bought it now within like an hour. So crazy. And literally I was looking up the exact same I was looking up the exact same item and this came up for a hundred and two dollars and it was posted on where's this guy's page let me see what's going on here Same item as I was searching, and it was on Joey the Trash Pickers underscore four page on eBay. So I went and posted it. This is just kind of funny. I went and posted it on my Instagram story, like, yeah, successful, you know, successful sale on eBay's trash pick made 120. And then Joey Capozzi messaged me and was like, dude, I have the same exact one on my eBay in auction. Right now, and it's going. It's up to one hundred and two dollars, and I was like, "No way!" I just was looking at the same item you just sent me. What are the chances of all the millions and millions of things posted on eBay that I'd be looking at the same item that he sends me a link to minutes later? But that's what happened. Go check out his thing. It's Joey the Trash Picker under underscore four. I just showed it. If you want to go back, he's got like forty, fifty items right now um, for the dream. So I'm about to pack this up and send it out tomorrow morning, along with a fish scale that we sold to on e on YouTube. Um, and that's going out, and then there's a couple more items that ended today. But eBay's been going good, and the shed is actually ready to store stuff in now. I just wanna show you guys, hold on. Right, so totally shingled, and then I put like, crazy amount of caulk if you can see it the brown caulk around all this so that it wouldn't leak through right there because I figured that would be a problem but uh but damn this is looking fresh all free like I'm said like I said before all free so really psyched about this shed I'm gonna put all my lawn mowers in here and everything I use for my lawn maintenance stuff I'm gonna probably put a couple shelves along there that wall Put a second layer of wood too on there eventually. But I caulked this wall too because it's a little moist from just being open to the rain. And I want to paint the floor eventually, but maybe not today. All right, we got, we are gonna go try and shoot some kind of a photo. We got this monkey suit. We got this cat thing, a Mortal Kombat outfit some red pants and a cape, a bunch of goodies. But uh, we're gonna go over to the beach and we have to upload a video to put on Instagram onto my mom's computer and then send it to ourselves. So we're gonna head over to the island. It's actually getting like dark out right now a little bit. Sun's going down, it's not dark yet. But uh, yeah, about to head out. Go try and take some pictures with the flashes like uh, been getting more into photography lately, so you never know if you're going to get the gold shot unless you go out and try. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, we just filmed and shot this picture with this beach day with the cat mask. So I'll show you guys that one when we get back to the house, what it looked like once I pop it on the computer. Sammy J just nailed that shot. Right, we're back at the house. Here's some of the photos that Miss Sammy J shot tonight. That one, these are the ones I like the most. I highlighted them. That one, and the cat mask on the beach. That one, pretty cool. That one holding the mask, and that one, and then the one of me laying. Uh, 
that's not it, that's just a clip, but yeah, got some solid shots. I like them a lot. So claimers, trying to shoot more photos. And I just got the Game Boy that we received today up and running. I put some new batteries in it and was just playing the Wario Land. Played the first beat the first level and then went back to the computer work. But that thing works awesome and really cool. Joe back. You thank you for the dream, truly. Babies are hunting. Hunting crickets. Right, MJ? You got it? Sam and Jay making dinner for us. Veggie burgers. Veggies. What's the claim? That's the claim. Good night or good morning. And peace out everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for some more claims. Gonna hit some yard sales probably tomorrow because it's Friday. We'll see. But uh, word is there's a storm of brown. So we'll see. But peace out everyone. What are you claiming?